Hi, I'm Danny Nightmare. This is Horror Addicts. We've got a zombie here. We're doing a pub crawl. Um, where were you when the zombie virus attacked? What were you doing right before you were turned into a zombie? Oh man, actually, I was on the couch. On the couch. It came. The virus came through actually on my pizza from Domino's. Of course, just a widespread food chain that. Man, the virus is on there, and I was just sitting there watching and playing video games. So, Ate the pizza, and then this is the beginning of the zombie outbreak. And uh, they have a feeling, I guess, that the military is just going to come wipe them all out. So they've decided to do a pub crawl. Might as well get drunk. You know what? Not all is lost in the mind when it comes to actually wanting to eat your brains, to gorge out. But yes, we know that they want to extinct us. So, why not get drunk? Why not? Why not drink and enjoy the last things in your mind? Well, that you used to love doing. I appreciate so, that. Thank you. Uh, my hands name? are still red from my last victim. Yeah. I'm sorry <laughs> if I pass it along. Fresh myself, so. Uh, what's your name? Josh. All right. Zombie Josh. All we right. appreciate you for the interview. Uh, well, actually, you boys keep it up. This is where it's at. And, uh, uh, Actually, I'm pretty sure I'll catch up with you later and we'll smash in some brain. All right, sounds good. So the zombie outbreak is heavy. Wenatchee, how do you feel about these zombies rising up? They drink a lot of beer. They do. And they're kind of noisy. Oh. <laughs> It'd be a little more quiet then. <laughs> well, I hope you don't get bitten uh, and take care. Hi, I'm Danny Nightmare. You're watching Horror Addicts. Uh, I'm here with a couple zombies from the pub crawl. Uh, where were you guys when the zombie outbreak attacked? Uh, I'm freshly thin. I don't quite know uh, what they're saying here. I'm sure I'll get there by the end of the night. So, do you prefer brains or beers? Uh, 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 well, I guess I'm hoping I need uh, Hi, I'm Danny Nightmare, and I'm a horror addict, and tonight I'll be reviewing the 2009 film, Zombieland. This was director Ruben Fleischer? 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 I don't know. But this was his first movie. He's directed a lot of TV at this time and some short films, but this is his first full-length Hollywood feature, and I think he did a really good job. I remember when this movie came out, me and a bunch of my friends, we all went zombie face to go see it on its opening night, and which I was told later by Undead Jess that's kind of racist, but hey, oops. Outside of the theater on the ticket booth, there's even a bloody handprint there for the rest of the night. It was still there when we left. They didn't seem to mind, so cool. We went across the street for some zombie karaoke. It was just a great night. And a lot of it had to do with this being a great film. It was perfectly casted. You got Jesse Eisenberg, who's a dorky, meek, but very resourceful nerd. Teamed up with a badass like Woody Harrelson. This was just gonna be great. They go by from where they're from. They don't use their real names. Eisenberg was Columbus. Harrelson was Tallahassee. And I heard that he had like about five scripts at the time, and this one he kept throwing on the bottom. He was a zombie movie, he thought. But then when he finally got around to reading it, he couldn't put it down. He said he was born to play this character, and I'm so glad he did. Eventually they come across a couple of young girls, a bunch of con artists. Wichita, the older sister, played by Emma Stone, and boy was she looking fabulous in this movie. Ow. And her sister, Little Rock, which was a cute little Abigail Preslin. Ah, totally won me over in this film. So glad that today she's making tons of more horror movies and TV shows. Way to stay in there, Abigail. The movie's just got tons of brutal action, which is cool. They use a lot of props that were sawed off like halfway, like you can't tell when you watch the movie, like they got baseball bats, the back of a toilet, and some golf clubs. The rest is kind of digitally added in, and it looks flawless from what I can tell. The reason why it's cut in half is so they can get a big full swing and just really look like they're clocking zombies left and right. Unfortunately, with the butt of one of the shotguns, that was real, and 
Emma Stone gave that zombie stitches. It's hazardous being a zombie. Once Eisenberg got the role, he worked with a couple of different actresses that came in to play Wichita, and he would say something different each time. And then apparently when Emma Stone came in, she just blew him away and bam. And she wasn't even originally there to try out for Wichita. She was gonna be 406, but they told her to go ahead and read some lines for Wichita and they all fell in love with her doing so. 406 ended up being played by Amber Heard, so that's cool too. A lot of great gore, like little kid zombies, just big zombies. So the action is just top notch. Oh, and that banjo scene, that was brutal. Not only that, but Woody Harrelson apparently like had to learn how to play the banjo last minute so he can do dueling banjos. A lot of things that kind of happened last minute. Uh, Bill Murray was added to the movie last minute. Originally they were gonna go to Mima and Pop Pops or something, I don't know. I don't know exactly who was supposed to be them, but I know that they were a famous Jewish couple? That got scrapped out. So it was awesome that Bill Murray was in this movie. <laughs> BM. <laughs> Felt bad for Bill Murray, but it's a hilarious way to add to the body count. There was also a little bit of a problem with Woody Harrelson uh, kind of delayed filming for about a day because he was arrested for possession of weed. <laughs> oh, that Woody. And he must have the mad munchies because throughout this whole movie, he's looking for a Twinkie. I don't know how they're that hard to find. I mean, any store should have a Twinkie, but I guess for in his case, it's just snowballs and snowballs and snowballs. Balls. Fucking Twinkies! Woody Harrelson was not a total badass on this too, but he gave you the feels. There's like that whole scene where it's a puppy and it turns out it's really his son. But both of those made you really sad. And, and hey, that puppy it was super cute. Apparently that was Abigail Preslin's puppy. Like they had a couple dogs come in to audition, but then she's like, what about my new puppy? And they looked at it like, oh yeah. Your puppy works. The movie is also just rocking with an amazing soundtrack. I mean, you got Metallica, The Black Keys, Van Halen, Blue Oyster Cult, Crash Kings, Willie Nelson, Hank Williams, and Paul Anka. There's something for everybody in this thing. Especially when they started off with Metallica, For Whom the Bell Tolls, during the opening credits. Those are the most amazing opening credits, like, ever. It's just... Holy shit. And co-writer Rhett Reese makes a cameo. He's kind of like that Scarface guy in the beginning, taking out zombies. And he got a lot of other funny scenes like the kill of the week. That's hilarious. Why was there a kill of the week? Well, intentionally that was going to be a running gag. Like, this was supposed to be a TV series originally. But after a, they did sell a pilot, but it never got picked up. It got pretty desperate to where they were going to make just a low-budget film. However, the right people signed on board and the budget went up. And I have to say one of the reasons why this is such a good movie is it was blessed with a high production value. There's a lot of uh, low budget indie film zombie movies that I have liked, so it's not saying it needs to be. I'm just saying in this case, it really helped. A TV show, man, that would've been great. I, I kind of feel selfish that we didn't get the movie. I mean, if you got a TV show, it'd probably have a different cast, but I don't know, I kind of wish we got both. Oh wait, in 2013, we did get a TV show. <laughs> I don't think there was any nudity in this film. I do think there was there's some like zombie titty tassel action going on, but I don't think you'd get any actual nudity, which is fine. I didn't need it. Some Woody Harrelson in a towel. I guess there was supposed to be a scene where uh, he was in the shower and you would have saw his ass, but sorry ladies or guys that are into Woody Harrelson's butt. It didn't make the final cut. You were like a giant cock blocking robot like developed in a secret fucking government lab. Hey. Not a flaw in the movie by any means, but what were those girls thinking? They seemed very smart and bright, but their big plan was to ditch the guys and then go to... You have just survived the zombie apocalypse and drove halfway across the country. Where are you gonna go? I'm going to Pacific Playland! <laughs> Woo! That's like the stupidest idea ever. Of course, when they get there, it's closed. One's here. First one's here. First one's here. And just like that movie, they come up with a really dumb idea. I mean, yeah, it was cool that it was abandoned and there wasn't no zombies in there, but turning all that shit, of course it's gonna bring the zombies to you. The hell? Oh well, at least Columbus decides he's gonna go in after him, so he gets a really terrible farewell from Tallahassee. That'll do, pig. That's the worst goodbye I've ever heard. And you stole it from a movie. And then he has a very lousy takeoff. 
So Tallahassee feels sorry for him and says, you know what, well, fuck it, we'll go save the girls together. And at this point, I really was worried that Tallahassee was going to die. I told you spoilers earlier, so he doesn't. And apparently Abigail Presley like was sad that she didn't get to die. Like she asked and pleaded, can I please die? I want to be a zombie at the end. She saw all these people wearing a cool zombie makeup and as a little girl, she's like, I want to be a zombie at the end of the movie. But they uh, no no that. What did Tallahassee get for all that help he gave them in the end? Twinkie sludge. Do you think you can maybe just pick out the buckshot? Just kind of eat around it? Okay. I guess that bit about pulling out the buckshot was Eisenberg just improvising. <laughs> that was a good line. And as for Eisenberg, Columbus, he got to be a badass at the end of this too and face his fear. Clowns. Apparently Jesse Eisenberg's mom was like a birthday clown when he was growing up. Uh, but she wasn't a scary clown as he would put it because she didn't have a red nose and she didn't have big feet. But apparently Jesse Eisenberg really is afraid of clowns. And that clown zombie was Derek Graff. He's the only zombie that got credited. And I guess he must be a big deal because, I mean, hell, even funny man Mike White didn't get credited. Comedian and uh, screenwriter, hell, he wrote Orange County. Speaking of credits, Tom Barrett, you were the best boy. And if you stuck around for after credits, you get a funny little scene with Woody Harrelson and Bill Murray quoting Caddyshack, so that was cool. So basically, I think you know what I'm about to say, and that is, own it. This is an amazing zombie film. I know the world is swarmed with zombie films, like the zombie plague is a real thing. It really is. The zombie plague is real, but it's in the form of films. There's so many of them. But this is the cream of the crop. It's risen to the top. I say, own it. There's very few zombie films that are actually this good. I mean, there are a couple of them out there. But there's so many zombie movies, when you to find a film this good, it's almost like playing Where's Waldo. I like this movie, and I think Ruben did a great job on this film. Hey, and I hear that he's uh, directing Venom, so can't wait for that. Let me know in the comments below. As for me, I think I'm gonna go uh, get myself a Twinkie. Au revoir, gopher. And a special shout out and thank you to Michael Finn, our patron that helped us come up with this video. It was a total blast to do and I hope you enjoyed it. And for those of you that would like to help us choose our future reviews, please go to patreon.com forward slash TV to see how you can join the family. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>